Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna do a review of my favorite DevOps book. Uh, it's called The Practice of Cloud System Administration and it's written by a lot of the, several of the heavyweights in this industry. Um, Tom Limoncelli, Christina Hogan, and uh, Strata Chalup. Um, this is, it says volume two at the top because it goes along with, I think uh, the, the series is called The Practice of System and Network Administration. It's a book that's above the level of specific tools and specific how-tos and tutorials. It kind of sits in that like processes you should do, best practices uh, you should build into the company where you work or what you're doing. Um, but it sits below that sort of like airy management talk values, blah, 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 vision stuff in a definitely in the practical realm. DevOps is the new hotness. Everyone wants to be in DevOps. Everyone wants to be doing DevOps. But really, DevOps is uh, an idea, a a, uh, a direction, the principle, um, and it you know it influences practical stuff. Actually, we keep that for the separate "What the hell is DevOps?" video. But the cool thing about this book, and I'll talk about what it covers specifically, is that this book is actually the best introduction to large-scale architecture that I've found. It goes through and it really covers the like theoretical components of a larger infrastructure incredibly well. Um, so that's things like if you're coming from kind of like system administration, dealing with a one Linux system, one kernel, um, this is a really nice way to kind of graduate to thinking about, um, you know, servers not as pets, but as cattle. I'm sure you've heard that before. This is for when you're dealing with thousands of servers um, and large distributed systems. Um, now, as soon as you graduate from a basic like three tier web architecture, where you've got like a web layer, your web servers, um, a possibly load balancers in front, possibly some kind of caching and then a persistence layer, uh, your databases underneath. Um, as soon as that kind of system starts to grow and scale, that is where this comes in. So I wanna reiterate that this, this occupies a space kind of between the levels where a lot of books are. This is a book about how to kind of architect the infrastructure without mentioning specific tools for the most part. But it's definitely one layer below like vague management seminars uh, and books. So just as an example, it's not about whether you should choose Jenkins or GoCD for, um, for that part of your CI CD infrastructure. It's not about should you choose Chef or should you choose Ansible. It's really more about defining a current best practices view or curriculum or the things you need to think about when you're implementing, designing, managing, um, or troubleshooting, operating a large distributed, primarily web-focused uh, architecture. This book is, is kind of like about that through the lens of what DevOps, the, those ideals, what they might look like. So what this book actually covers. First, it goes into uh, what it looks like when your ops and your dev teams actually work together um, to design and implement an application. And that application includes the infrastructure around it. That's one of those like big wins and that's why DevOps people get paid a whole bunch of money. It's about architecture and application design patterns, best practices. And that I think is where this book shines the most. In a way, it gives you the theoretical structure that you then need to then go learn independent tools. Like, okay, what am I gonna use for CI, CD? What am I gonna use for automation or configuration management or like image management? What specific containerization tools and schedulers and stuff am I gonna use? Um, you know, this, this book doesn't tell you which service discovery tools to use. Uh, it just informs you that that is a thing and it solves these specific problems. It's usually implemented in this way and then you've kind of got the, the tools you need to actually go research and find those, those specific, um, that specific software, Let's, whether it's console or something else. Hint, it should be console. Um, it leaves you to find that stuff yourself. And I think that's great because that will keep this from getting out of date. It also looks at what service delivery should look like, sort of best practice, a couple different approaches. What uh, CI, CD, so continuous integration and continuous deployment, if you're doing that, uh, should look like. It covers your automation, how to kind of think about that, where in your system you might put those things, uh, those components. It talks about documentation. It talks about monitoring and alerting, which are 
incredibly important and getting very hard to do in large distributed systems. Uh, it even goes so far into like that practical side to talk about uh, what on-call rotations look like and how to prevent alert fatigue. So like definitely very, for anyone that's actually been doing this, very practical and timely topics. So I would recommend this book basically to anybody that is trying to learn about what DevOps actually looks like, uh, what next generation web and distributed systems architecture looks like. Um, and anyone that wants to kind of like shoot for becoming a team lead, becoming an architect, designing larger systems uh, yourself. Um, and I would also recommend it to tech managers who are kind of like worrying about all the things that are in this book. Um, this can definitely give you a recipe or a structure for things that you're gonna have to handle somehow. And like the specific implementation details are up to you. Like I said, they're not defined in this book. You should use console, you should use GoCD. Um, but it at least gives you an outline of the components you need so that you can then go to your manager or to senior management and say, these are the things that our system needs. Some of them we have, some of them are broken, some of them we don't have at all, and uh, you know, need to, like we need to create those, we need to build those systems or uh, buy them. So there you go. This is the one book that I would recommend to anybody that's interested um, in all of that stuff. If you're interested in grabbing this, as always, there is an Amazon affiliate link below. So I'll make a, I don't know how much this thing is, but you know, a buck or two uh, if you buy it through that link. But uh, even if you don't, it's probably one that you should have on your shelf if you're operating more than like 100 or 150 systems. Um, yeah, definitely a, a very educational and useful book. And I think very gentle for beginners because it's, it, it's, written in a way that's accessible to managers, which means it's also accessible to beginners. Um, not that I haven't had great managers. I've had incredible managers. I've actually been very lucky. So there it is. Grab yourself a copy and uh, be educated. If that's been helpful or you want more book reviews, um, give it a like, leave a comment if you have any other great DevOps uh, books that you'd like to recommend. As always, I appreciate it if you guys donate on Patreon, if you check out the Kernel Panic podcasts for uh, similar topics and uh, like and subscribe as always. Thanks guys. See you in the next one. Peace.